Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Dr. Jamila Mahmoud. I'm a very close friend of Do uh, Dr. Yasmin, Yasmin Ahmad. Uh, and the family has asked me and Datuk Dr. Zakaria here, who is the brother-in-law of Pan Yasmin Ahmad, to say a few words to all of you. Uh, first of all, on behalf of the family, we want to thank all of you for being here because it shows how much uh, we all love Yasmin and worry and care about her. Um, she's in very good hands in this hospital and um, she's in the intensive care and she's just come out of theatre and Dr Zakaria will tell you more. Uh, the family also wishes that you respect the privacy that they need right now because they're under a lot of pressure, a lot of stress um, and uh, too many phone calls and SMS coming in is adding more pressure onto them so we hope that um, after this information is given, it is the, re the request of the family that all of us disperse and you know do our prayers for Yasmin at home. Um, and we're also waiting for Yasmin's parents to arrive uh, later this evening. So, Zach, you want to? Um, basically, Yasmin had a stroke and she had uh, bleeding in her brain. And she's undergone a surgery to relieve the swelling in the brain. So she's in ICU now. Her condition at the moment is still critical and the next uh, few hours will be extremely important. At the moment, her, <coughs> her heart is being supported by basically drugs in order to keep up the blood pressure. And she's stable. She's, she's quite stable at the moment. So we hope that there will no longer be any speculation <laughs> because this is hurting the family. Um, a lot of messages going around which are untrue uh, and reports coming out which are not accurate. Um, you know, we ask all of you to please, uh, you know, pray hard for her, uh, pray what is best, uh, the best outcome for Yasmin and also to pray for the family who are undergoing a lot of stress and grief right now. Um, and it really, we hope that you, uh, we, although it's so appreciated, the presence here, because it's intensive care, it really should have very minimal visitors to avoid risks of infection and so forth that can put Yasmin at risk as well. And we want to make sure that she has the best optimal care uh, that she can get. So let us all, you know, pray very hard for her in our home, respective homes. And uh, we will try to find a way that we can give information to you every day and update you. Uh, but for the time being, please uh, do not inundate the hospital with phone calls because you may be depriving the hospital from a more urgent phone call for some other patient. And also the family as well because they are also under a lot of stress right now. So I think that's all we want to inform you. So thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I think the no, we don't. The hospital is not responsible to give information to public. Uh, I will discuss with Dr. Zach, and maybe uh, one person can be designated the uh, information point. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah.